This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at nucleic acids. The two types of nucleic acids that we'll be looking at are RNA on the left and DNA on the right. DNA stores the information that controls the genetic characteristics of an organism and RNA enables the information stored in DNA to be expressed. DNA and RNA are both examples of polynucleotides which are polymers composed of nucleotides. The nucleotides are the monomers. So we'll start by looking at the structures of DNA and RNA. DNA has a double helix structure. It is a double-stranded polynucleotide. The sugar phosphate backbone is on the outside and the nitrogenous bases are on the inside. The two strands are held together by hydrogen bonds between the nitrogenous bases. Next we look at RNA. Like DNA, RNA has a sugar phosphate backbone, but unlike DNA, RNA is a single-stranded polynucleotide. Next we look at the nucleotides which make up the sugar phosphate backbone. A nucleotide contains a phosphate group, a pentose 5-carbon sugar, and an organic nitrogenous base. So on the left we have a phosphate group, we have the pentose sugar which has 5 carbon atoms, and on the right we have the nitrogenous base. The nitrogenous base, the pentose sugar and the phosphate group bond in condensation reactions releasing a molecule of water. The nitrogenous base joins at carbon number 1 of the sugar and the phosphate to carbon number 5 which is known as the 5' prime position. So on this diagram we can see that the nitrogenous base is bonded to carbon number 1 and the phosphate group is bonded to carbon number 5. Both bonds are covalent bonds which are formed in condensation reactions in which a molecule of water is produced. In the previous slide we looked at the bonding within the nucleotide, now we look at the bonding between the nucleotides. Nucleotides bond in condensation reactions involving the phosphate group at the 5' prime position of one nucleotide and the OH group at the 3' prime position of the next nucleotide. So here we have the phosphate group which is bonded at the 5' prime position and here we have an OH group on carbon number 3 which is also known as the 3' prime position. So we have a condensation reaction involving this hydrogen atom with this OH group to produce a molecule of water. These bonds are known as phosphodiester links. So on the right we have a sugar phosphate backbone which is composed of nucleotides joined in condensation reactions. Next we look at the nitrogenous bases. There are two types of nitrogenous bases, there's purines and pyrimidines. Pyrimidines are smaller and contain only one ring. So at the top we have the pyrimidines and as you can see they only contain one ring. In DNA we have cytosine and thymine but in RNA we have uracil instead of thymine. Purines are larger and contain two fused rings. So at the bottom we have the purines which are guanine and adenine. The purines contain two fused rings. Next is base pairing. Only certain base pairings involving one purine and one pyrimidine are possible. In DNA adenine forms two hydrogen bonds with thymine and guanine forms three hydrogen bonds with cytosine. So on the left we have adenine which forms two hydrogen bonds with thymine. On the right we have guanine which forms three hydrogen bonds with cytosine. In this diagram of DNA which is a double stranded nucleic acid we have the two strands which are sugar phosphate backbones which are held together by the hydrogen bonds between the nitrogenous bases. In DNA cytosine always pairs with guanine and adenine always pairs with thymine. Next we look at the difference in the pentose sugars in DNA and RNA. DNA has deoxyribose as its pentose sugar. RNA has ribose as its pentose sugar. Deoxyribose lacks an oxygen atom on carbon number 2. So this is carbon number 2 in deoxyribose and ribose. In ribose there's an OH group bonded to carbon number 2, but deoxyribose is lacking an oxygen atom on carbon number 2. So let's end with a summary. 
The two polynucleotides we've looked at are RNA and DNA. RNA is a single-stranded polynucleotide, whereas DNA is a double-stranded polynucleotide. RNA has the nitrogenous bases cytosine, guanine, adenine and uracil. In DNA, the nitrogenous bases are cytosine, guanine, adenine and thymine. The two polynucleotide strands in DNA are held together by hydrogen bonds. Cytosine forms three hydrogen bonds with guanine and adenine forms two hydrogen bonds with thymine. 